This ancient wanderer, billions of years old, passed the closest to Mars on October the 3rd, and Chinese scientists captured several incredible snapshots. While Western telescopes were suddenly offline, multiple Chinese observatories may have just captured new images of Comet 3i Atlas, and the timing could not be more suspicious. China's eyes were open when the Wests were shut, and now a rare cosmic visitor may have been recorded in detail by only one side. If those frames exist, they may be the only visual record of what this object did in the most critical moment of its journey, when the telescopes went dark. And we have a better idea of the orbit of this object. This might be a brand new, unknown, potentially hazardous asteroid. During Comet 3, I, Atlas's closest approach, something strange happened. Images from Hubble, James Webb, and several of the world's top ground-based observatories simply stopped appearing. And for an object like 3i Atlas, silence is not normal. This comet had already been setting off alarms across the astronomy world. It was flaring in bursts, increasing in brightness nearly sixfold in under 48 hours, then dimming again with eerie regularity. Its tail wasn't behaving like a typical dust plume. It was spiraling, some said unnaturally. And its composition, measured by the James Webb Space Telescope just weeks earlier, showed a chemical signature scientists did not expect high carbon dioxide, low water, complex organics that had no business being there in that quantity. This wasn't just a dirty snowball, it was something stranger and maybe more important. So when the data stream suddenly stopped, people noticed. Hubble had entered safe mode. James Webb had moved on to other scheduled targets. The Gemini telescopes in Hawaii and Chile were reportedly undergoing upgrades or down for weather. The very large telescope in Chile had entered a planned maintenance cycle, and yet, there was no coordination, no official comment from NASA, nothing from the European Space Agency, just blank data logs. The only thing louder than the silence was the timing, because this gap, this sudden blackout, trajectory which is perfectly aligned with, and that is something that cannot be explained just by observing or imaging it, hit right as the comet reached perihelion, right when the sun's heat was at its peak, right when jets should be firing. Right when tail dynamics shift, ice fractures and structural changes appear. The moment that matters most, gone. It's the kind of moment you only get once with an interstellar object. 3. I Atlas is not from here. It is on a hyperbolic trajectory, which means it is moving too fast to be captured by the sun's gravity. It won't loop back, it won't return. Moving so fast at 60 kilometers per second, that's 600 times the fastest race car that we have on Earth. There are no second chances. Missing even a few hours means losing data we can never recreate. And this time, those hours turned into days. Amateur astronomers began to notice. Forum posts questioned the gaps in the image logs. Some started pulling telescope schedules, noticing overlaps in downtime. A few conspiracy theories surfaced, quickly dismissed, but the unease remained. And just as the West blinked, the story took a turn. Reports started surfacing that several Chinese observatories, including Xinglong and Purple Mountain, had stayed online. That they may have been quietly tracking 3i Atlas the entire time. No images had been released, no papers published. But the chatter was growing. If those teams captured what the rest of the world missed, they might now be holding the only continuous record of what happened during the comet's most volatile phase. China steps in. It takes a wealthy society to embark upon such research. And today, China is just such a country. While the West stayed quiet, China was still watching. Amid the blackout from major Western observatories, reports began surfacing on Chinese astronomy forums. Observers claimed that both Jinglong Station and Purple Mountain Observatory had maintained continuous tracking of Comet 3i Atlas. No official announcements were made. No images released to the public. But insiders began mentioning active observation windows, logged activity, and possible data captures during the exact window when Hubble, James Webb, and other facilities had gone dark. These weren't amateur sky watchers posting cell phone pictures. Xinglong and Purple Mountain are serious research institutions with deep field optics, fast response tracking, and advanced near-infrared capabilities. If they stayed locked onto 3i Atlas during the Western silence, they may now hold the only uninterrupted visual record of the comet during its most unpredictable phase. And that would change everything. This moment, where one side of the world blinked and the other kept watching, wasn't just an accident. 
it was the result of two very different systems. In the West, large observatories typically schedule their telescope time months in advance. Observation proposals are submitted, reviewed, approved, and locked into a competitive queue. Shifting that schedule requires justification, coordination, and delays. But in China, many research facilities operate with more internal routing control. If something unexpected appears, a flare, a nova, a brightening comet, their teams can pivot within hours. That responsiveness is what sets China's network apart. When radio astronomers worldwide uh, start to come up with this concept for the next big radio telescope. LAMOS, China's massive sky survey telescope in Hebei, can record up to 4,000 objects at once. FAST, the 500-meter aperture spherical telescope, is the largest filled aperture radio telescope in the world. Add to that the Yunnan observatories, the Shanghai Astronomical Observatory, and others, and you get a nationwide web of high-powered instruments designed for speed, flexibility, and resilience. They might not always be the first name in public headlines, but when it comes to moving fast, they're often the first on target. And with 3i Atlas, that matters. This comet doesn't behave like a normal object. It has been flaring and dimming rapidly. Its spiral tail changes form over just a few days. Its chemical signature is unlike any seen before. Every one of those changes happens in tight windows. Hours, not weeks. If your telescope can't respond quickly, you miss it. But China may not have missed anything. If their teams captured images, spectra, or jet signatures during the days when Western telescopes were offline, they now hold something no one else does, possibly the only continuous record of what the comet was doing during the blackout. That kind of data is priceless, but it is not guaranteed to be shared. The richness and the complexity of the data, it's all there. The universe is like sort of hiding in the darkness and we have to bring it out. Unlike NASA or the European Space Agency, many Chinese institutions do not operate under open access policies. Their observations are reviewed internally, written into papers, and released only when the research is complete. That's standard practice in many countries, including Europe, but it creates friction when time-sensitive discoveries are involved. Because right now, while the rest of the world is still parsing old data, there's a real possibility that a few researchers in China are already looking at something new, something no one else has seen yet. And if they did catch something strange, a sudden brightness spike, an unexpected shift in the tail, or a jet erupting from a strange angle, they may be quietly reviewing that footage before saying a word. But the longer they wait, the more the pressure builds. This could be the first time in modern astronomy where a major interstellar event, or at least its most important moment, is captured, owned, and interpreted primarily by Chinese teams. And whether those observations are shared openly or kept under review will shape what happens next. The data China holds. The comet's path will take it past even more of our robotic explorers. Comets are supposed to be predictable. Dirty snowballs drifting through space, warming up as they near the sun, glowing softly, shedding ice and dust. We have seen hundreds of them, tracked them, named them. But 3i Atlas is not one of those. It does not behave like them. It does not belong to the same neighborhood. And if what some believe is true, this may be one of the most important objects humanity has ever seen, and we may have missed its most revealing moments. 3i Atlas is not from around here. The I in its name stands for interstellar. It means this object came from outside our solar system. It is only the third confirmed object of its kind after Oumuamua and Borisov. Its path is not a loop, but a curve that never returns. It entered the solar system on a hyperbolic orbit, which means it is moving too fast to be captured by the sun's gravity. Once it leaves, it is gone forever. One pass, no repeats. But even among interstellar objects, 3i Atlas is strange. 3i Atlas. It does give scientists a rare chance to study something from beyond our solar system. Right away, scientists noticed its brightness was not stable. Within just two days, it flared up nearly six times brighter than it had been before. Not gradually, not smoothly. A sudden burst followed by dimming followed by another burst. Some thought it was outgassing, which is common for comets. But the pattern did not fit. It was too fast, too rhythmic, too clean. The James Webb Space Telescope managed to catch a snapshot of its composition before going offline for scheduled targets. What it found raised more questions than answers. The chemical makeup of the comet's coma, the glowing halo of gas around its nucleus, was unlike anything seen before. 
It was rich in carbon dioxide, but showed very low levels of water. That is not what you expect in a comet. Water is usually the main ingredient. In this case, it was an afterthought. There were also signs of carbon monoxide and even sulfur-bearing compounds like carbonyl sulfide. But the ratios were wrong. The tail was shaped more like a curve than a trail. Some researchers pointed out that the spiral pattern seen in early images could be caused by jets, not random ones, but possibly structured ones, like something spinning and venting in specific directions. That is not just weird, that is rare. And if you believe some fringe theories, it is almost mechanical. At this point, the data stream stopped. Western telescopes went quiet and public observations froze. That was exactly when the comet reached one of its most critical phases, the moment of increased solar heating, when its surface would be most active. This is when you would expect the jets to fire. This is when you might see a break, a split in the tail, a sudden ejection of material, or a shift in trajectory caused by asymmetric thrust. This is also when some comets reveal more than they should, but almost no one was watching, except maybe China. If Chinese observatories continued tracking during this period, and there is growing reason to believe they did, they may now hold the only images of this strange activity. High-resolution cameras would have captured changes in brightness, shifts in tail morphology, or outbursts that might confirm earlier theories. They might even have spotted new features entirely. Any of these would rewrite our models of interstellar objects. Now, the interstellar visitor named 3131 Atlas has now it came beyond our solar system. And yet none of this is confirmed. That is the problem. Without access to those images, the rest of the world can only guess. But, but first back to the story, because it gets twisted. But the timing could not be worse. If this object really is as different as it seems, then the mist window was one of the most crucial in all of cometary science. There is also the question of trajectory. Most comets bend gently through space, but 3I Atlas has shown signs of slight deflection, small changes in its projected path. These are often caused by uneven outgassing when jets of gas push the object like a thruster. Allowing nickel to outgas, while iron remained bound in the nucleus. These kinds of changes are usually tiny, but with enough data, you can measure them. If Chinese telescopes captured precise star-field-aligned images during this time, they may be able to measure those shifts better than anyone else. That means they could hold the key to understanding how the comet is moving and why. In space science, windows like this do not open often, and when they do, you have to be ready. The Chinese observatories may have been the only ones that were, and if they really caught something strange, something that changes the way we think about interstellar objects, then they now hold one of the most important observations of this century. How images shape the narrative. With Comet 3, iAtlas, that power may now sit in the hands of the Chinese astronomy community, if their observatories did keep tracking the comet while others paused, then they are the only ones who captured a continuous visual record of a very strange object behaving in very unexpected ways. And if they hold exclusive data from that window, then they also hold the pen. They get to write the first draft of what happened. 3. iAtlas is not just another comet. It is a one-time visitor, a hyperbolic traveler. There will never be another chance to see it. If the key images come from only one source, then the global scientific community is effectively depending on that one source for truth, for context, for verification. That kind of control is rare, and it carries weight. Now, comma, in many parts of the world, that kind of control is usually balanced by open access policies. Western observatories like Hubble or the James Webb Telescope typically release data into public archives. Anyone can download the images, run their own analysis, and publish their own interpretations. It is not perfect, but it allows for challenge and debate. It allows for cross-checking. In contrast, Chinese observatories often follow a more closed system. Data is reviewed internally. Papers are written by the research team before the raw images are shared. This is not necessarily wrong. Many private research institutions and even European telescopes do the same. But in a case like 3i Atlas, where something potentially groundbreaking may have been captured, the wait creates tension. The longer the world waits to see what was found, the more suspicion grows. Not because of bad intentions, but because of uncertainty. There is also the issue of what gets shown. 
A single image cropped the wrong way or processed through a narrow filter can hide more than it reveals. One observatory might highlight a brightening event as a simple dust reflection. Another might interpret it as a jet. One might call it noise. Another might call it new physics. And without other images from different facilities to compare it to, that one version can take over the entire conversation. This is where the concept of soft power comes in. Space science is no longer just about data. It is about influence. When a nation controls access to key astronomical moments, it also controls the headlines, the citations, and the public perception of expertise. If China becomes the first to publish detailed findings from 3i Atlas, 3i Atlas, the third interstellar object and Chinese scientists, it sends a message not just about the comet, but about who is leading the exploration of interstellar space. That leadership can be used in many ways. It can attract international collaboration. It can position a country as a necessary partner in future missions, especially ones that involve rare or fast-moving objects like comets, asteroids, or distant exoplanets. But with that power comes risk. If the images are released and show something strange, say, a sudden turn in the comet's path or an unexpected shadow in the coma, the burden of explanation falls entirely on the team that presents them. Once published, the world will examine every frame, every light curve, every exposure detail, if something appears off, if the calibration is inconsistent, or if there are unexplained artifacts, the team could face backlash. And somewhere, 3 I Atlas is still drifting, still silent, still shedding dust into a darkness that only a few have truly seen. The power to explain it belongs to those who caught it, but the responsibility to share it belongs to everyone. A turning point in space science. The sudden disappearance of new images during Comet 3 iAtlas's closest approach exposed something uncomfortable. Whether it was due to safe mode, maintenance, or schedule gaps, the result was the same. A critical observation window passed without global coverage, and that should concern everyone. In astronomy, we already have systems in place to flag urgent events. The International Astronomical Union's Central Bureau for Astronomical Telegrams helps coordinate alerts when supernova, gamma ray bursts, or unexpected outbursts are detected. But those alerts are only as useful as the systems that respond to them. And as this event showed, even with early signals, telescope access isn't guaranteed. There's no global failsafe, no emergency protocol that reroutes attention in real time when a rare interstellar object appears. That needs to change. If an object like 3i Atlas, fast, unpredictable, not from here, slips through the cracks, then the next one could too. And the next might not just be a comet, it might move faster, burn brighter, act stranger. It might behave in ways we're not prepared to track. To avoid that, some astronomers are now quietly suggesting a rethink, a shift from decentralized, country-led observation systems towards something more resilient, a global framework for transient events. One that ensures if Hubble is down, another telescope steps up. If Webb is locked into a deep field survey, another instrument can pivot. Even modest adjustments could help. Wider scheduling flexibility, real-time interagency coordination, public mirrors of image archives so data isn't trapped behind institutional gates, a shared interface between Western, Chinese, and independent telescopes to make sure nothing is missed and nothing is lost. None of that requires new laws or trillion-dollar budgets. It just takes recognition that the sky isn't divided by borders, and the objects passing through it don't care who's paying attention. If those images exist and they show something meaningful, sharing them would benefit the entire astronomy community. Through papers, through open archives, through the peer review system that underpins global science. Not because anyone is obligated, but because collaboration is what gets results, especially in space.